What is up everybody? Welcome to another brand new video. Uh, today, bringing you something a little special, was out and about and I stopped at a couple of local shops here in Pennsylvania and found some cards. Uh, so I'm gonna show you what I got. We're gonna be doing a few videos this week um, and uh, we'll open up a few things now. So first of all, I'm gonna show you what we're gonna be doing on Mystery Box Monday. Um, he had these mystery boxes. They were not very expensive. Um, I picked up four of them. Supposedly, they will have, uh, two of them will be baseball, one will be football, one will be basketball, um, if I remember correctly. And um, they're guaranteed to have at least one hit in them. Um, stars, rookies, so that should be pretty fun. Uh, it was Sideline Sports in East Stroudsburg, um, something they put together themselves. So we got four of those. Um, also picked up a few of these, which I'll open now. These were only $5 a piece, mystery packs. Again, they're guaranteed one hit per, so um, I figure what the heck. Um, I got three baseball and one football. So we'll open up these and see what's in there. Uh, for Throwback Thursday, picked up 10 loose packs. Uh, these were at a different shop. Um, just grabbed some Donruss 90, some Fleer 91, and he had one pack of Stadium Club 92. So we'll open those up on Thursday, have a little throwback Thursday fun with those. Um, we'll open up the mystery boxes on Monday. Uh, he also had some loose packs at this LCS. I'm still trying to complete my 2021 Series 1 set. I am about eight or nine cards short. So I picked up one Jumbo, which has a nice shot at a Relic or Auto. Uh, I believe the odds are three out of the eight packs in the box have. So, you know, almost a 50% shot. We'll see what's in there. We'll open that up. Got one hanger box of Donruss 2021, which is um, one of my favorite sets. This has the Diamond Parallel and Orange Hollow. So we'll check that out. And um, got a single pack of Donruss 2021 Series 1 again, hoping to complete the set. And last but not least, um, he had some 2020 Archives packs. They were a little expensive, but I like Archives. Good set, so I figured I'd open these up. So this is what we're opening today. We'll have a good video coming at you on Monday for Mystery Box Monday. And then uh, we'll do a throwback Thursday. So some videos this week. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, please do. Uh, we'll, again, you'll uh, you'll be able to get notified when we do open up additional cards. Uh, go ahead and like this video. Let me know what you think of these. Let me know what you think of these mystery packs if I got my $5 per worth. Um, I'm pretty confident that I will. We'll see. Um, and I uh, picked up some sleeves for those hits. Um, but without further ado, let's get going on this edition of Searching for Hits with Eric. And we'll start with the loose packs here. Let's start with, uh, we'll start with the archives. Uh, I like the archive sets a lot. Um, pulled a few pretty cool autographs out of them. Um, you can get some numbered cards. Let me show you the odds real quick before I rip into the pack. There's the odds if you wanna take a freeze frame and check that out. And here we go. Decent shot at uh, at parallels and, and autos. We'll see what we get. Um, we got Charlie Morton on top. We got Trevor Bauer. Nice Tim Anderson. Uh, Chris Davis. There's a Tatis. Best player in baseball. Uh, we got a Yamaguchi. I believe he went back to Japan, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, Yuli Gurriel and Jonathan VR, who is now with the Mets doing some really good stuff. Um, again, I like the set a lot. The Tatis is probably the best card in there, but not any real major hits or value. Second pack up, let's see what we got. On top, Paul DeYoung, Frankie Lindor, another Met now, uh, Eduardo Escobar, we got Bobby Bradley Jr., a Sheldon Noisy, Keston here a Gold Cup, Starling Marte, and an Alan Trammell. So nothing too crazy. Just check in the back to see if there's any indicators 
for a short print. I forgot to check these. Uh, I don't see anything. So <clears throat> two relatively blase packs. Let's see what we got in our 2021 pack. It is a retail pack. Um, pick this up just again, hoping to fill my set. And if we happen to find something cool, that will be a bonus. So let's see what we got in this pack. Uh, leading off this one is going to be Steven Matz, who's no longer a Met, Mark Kana, Willie Calhoun, Salvi Perez. Uh, there's a Tampa Bay Rays, Dab on them. We've seen most of these cards already. Juan Soto. There's a Brady Singer, decent rookie. Uh, Alex Verdugo. There's a nice Don Mattingly 86 style insert. Pretty cool looking card. Put that aside for my cousin Joe. I don't know if he has that one yet. Josh Bell. Uh, we got a Rizel Iglesias. Uh, David Bodie. John Lester. Starling Marte. And there's uh, Vladdy Jr. and Acuna. So nothing crazy in the pack. Hoping I was able to fill a couple of missing, missing numbers in my quest for the complete set. <clears throat> Let's move on and see what we got in our jumbo pack. Let me show you the odds. I don't think I did for the single retail pack. Again, this is a decent odds of getting something. I'm hoping it's not going to be the manufactured relic. I'm not a huge fan of those, but um, we'll see what we can find. on into this pack and see what we got. Right on top, we got a Jacoby Jones, followed by a Justin Dunn, Monte Harrison, there's a Joey Bart, probably the best card of the video so far, along with Dylan Carlson. They're usually back-to-back. -back. Miles Michaelis, J.D. Martinez, uh, Ahmad Rosario, who's now over in Cleveland. Hector Neris, the closer for the Phillies. Harrison Bader. D. Gordon, Labor Day. Uh, there's a Kyle Lewis Gold Cup card. Stephen Vogt, Trey Turner. Jorge, uh, Jorge Alfaro. Brandon Kinsler. We're going to get, we're getting towards the good stuff now. Garrett Cole. We got an upside down card of Nolan Arenado, it's not numbered. I'm thinking that might be a photo variation. Let's take a look. As you can see, it's 02 or uh, 230 as the last numbers. And if you take one of the other cards, it's 213. So this is definitely a short print, which is pretty cool. Um, not sure how rare of a short print it is, but it is one. So we'll keep that up there. We got a Through the Years Chipper Jones. That's not going to be numbered. I'll show you the back of that. Nice insert card, though. There's a Joe Adele, 52 style. Bryce Harper, Griffin Canning, and now we're back into the paper. <clears throat> the base cards, Jake Arrieta, AJ Pollock. Uh, there's a a Dale Dunning rookie, Mitch White, Marco Gonzalez, Let's see what else, Clayton Kershaw, Lourdes Guriel, there's Luis Robert, his Gold Cup card, he's out for some time now, Frankie Rodriguez, Alec Baum, that's one of the big ones that we were looking for, Gavin Lux, Rizel Iglesias, and we're going to round it out with Starling Marte. So not too bad in the jumbo. Um, I'm not going to know until I get back to my house if I was able to fill in any of those missing spots. But uh, <clears throat> we will see, and I'll let you know in my next video. Okay, there's my top card so far. Let's crack into this 50-card Hanger box of 2021 Donruss. I'll show you the back. They don't give the odds on the Donruss, if I remember correctly. 
but um, let's see what we can find. Try to keep my mess off camera. Nope, they do not give it. They're just telling you what you can look for. So you can take a look at that if you want to freeze it. And there's our cards. 2021 Donruss, nice set. I like the, I like the 2021 Donruss set a lot. Tons of vari uh, variations and other hits and numbered cards. So let's see what we can find. Having a little difficulty getting this open. See a bunch of color in here already. That's good. Okay, and we are looking for six hollow orange and two diamond parallels in addition to whatever else is going to be in here. So let's get started with Marco Gonzalez, Clayton Kershaw, Corey Kluber. If I happen to miss anything, make sure you leave me a, uh, a comment. Let me know if I miss any variations. I know that's not Kershaw's photo variation, for instance. Uh, Josh Donaldson, Mike Soroka, George Springer, and just a reminder, please do hit that subscribe button and like the video so we can grow the channel. Uh, Nick Ahmed, we got Brian Reynolds, Josh Bell, Kevin Gaussman, uh, Nolan Arenado, Troy Glaus, Yelich, George Brett, Vladdy Jr., and I see we're starting to get close to the good stuff here. Ryan Sandberg, Marquez, there's an Oral Hershiser, Andy Pettit and Aaron Judge, Scherzer. Turn this on around. There's a Vladdy Sr., Vladimir Guerrero Sr., Max Freed, Giambi, and Shohei Otani. And our first nice parallel is going to be a Yadi Molina. That's out of 999, number 771 out of 999. Elite Series, Yadi or Molina. So that's pretty cool right there. Future Hall of Famer, Yadi Molina. We got a <clears throat> Justin Turner out of 2021. 080 out of 2021. Here's our orange hollows. Hoping for a nice, <clears throat> a nice rookie. Um, Frankie Lindor, that's nice. Love Frankie Lindor. Freddie Freeman, former MVP. Bo Bichette, nice youngster. And I love this. Look at this, Keith Hernandez. Keith Hernandez, one of my all-time favorite Mets. So we'll put those orange hollows up there with Keith on top. We have a... <clears throat> That's an orange hollow of Mike Yastrzemski's Diamond King card. And we have a rated rookie of Ian Anderson in the orange hollow, which is real nice. So put that up there. Some of those orange hollows. We have an unleashed Christian Yelich, which is pretty cool. It's not one of the numbered ones. Uh, we also have a Trevor Story Elite Series. Again, I don't think that's numbered. Nope. But... Uh, Two nice insert cards. We'll just put those over there. And now we're back to the base. <clears throat> There's a Pache rookie, Christian Pache, one of the top rookies, followed by Kebron Hayes, another top rookie. We got a name variation of Berkman. That's Big Puma. Diamond King of Yelich. Uh, there's a Mountcastle. Very nice. Another top rookie. Tony Two Bags. Name variation on the Rendon. Uh, Matt Chapman. There's a Luis Garcia, rated rookie. Uh, Bryce Harper, that might be the photo variation Harper. I'll have to check that out. Josh Bell, Evan White, rated rookie. Uh, we got a Butane, name variation Walker Bueller. There's the kid, Ken Griffey Jr. And Whit Merrifield to close out this pack. Um, some pretty cool stuff here. Uh, pretty, pretty happy about that box, some nice inserts. My favorite probably going to be, it's probably the Keith actually, but uh, the Yachty's nice as well. Um, so let's go into these mystery packs. I'm not sure what to expect in here, they are mystery packs, but um, 
We'll go through them, we'll see what's in here, and then we'll close out the video. Uh, again, let me know what you think. We'll start with the football mystery pack. Each one of these is guaranteed to have a hit. What that hit is going to be, we will find out. Uh, right on top is a, I'm not sure what this is. That's a Pacific Trading Bobby Ingram refractor type card. We have a Kirk Cousins from Playoff. It's a Panini product. <clears throat> uh, AJ McCarron Donruss from, I think, 18. Yep. Uh, Greg Montgomery, punter for the Oilers from the 80s. That's a 1990 card. Hilgenberg. There's the autograph. It is from Gridiron 2006. So it's a 2006 Donruss Gridiron Jeremy Bloom. I don't remember Jeremy Bloom. Uh, very low number, though. Look at that. Four out of ten. That's pretty cool right there. I'm going to go ahead and sleeve that up. Um, again, I not don't remember Jeremy Bloom, but such a low number. It's pretty cool. So Jeremy Bloom, again, numbered only four out of ten. So with that front and center for now. Let's see what else is in this football pack before we look at the baseballs. Um, there's a tops, an up, uh, upper deck vintage, Greenwood and Jamar Fletcher from the Dolphins. That's 2001. Uh, we got a Buccaneers team leaders card. Uh, probably that's from Fleer Traditions. So that's gonna be the uh, early 2000s maybe. Yep, 01. Uh, we have a Rookies from Omega of McCutcheon and Chiaverini. Don't remember them. <clears throat> we have an Odyssey card of McCaffrey and Eric Moulds from Top's Finest to finish out the pack. So nothing too, too crazy in that pack. Um, we did get that low number autograph, though, which is pretty cool. So we will take that. Let's look at these three baseball mystery packs, and then we'll get into those four mystery boxes on Monday. Uh, thank you again for watching. Make sure you do hit the like button and the subscribe button. Hopefully I can open up this mystery pack. Having some difficulty here. The other side, maybe? Yeah, there we go. Let me know what you think of these mystery packs and what you think of the cards I got out of them. Um, Austin Mahoney from 2014 First Pitch. Uh, we got a franchise history of Nolan Ryan. Anything Nolan Ryan's good. There's a Tom Glavin from 89 score. That's his second year card. Not too bad. Uh, there's a Pujols and Fielder from back in 08. So it was pretty early on in Pujols' career. Uh, we have an Allen and Ginter from 14. Uh, Deion Sanders, Neon Dion, Pretty cool stuff. Uh, and our hit from this pack is going to be Joe Kennedy. Joe Kennedy from Prestige... 08? No, 05. This one is not going to be numbered. Joe Kennedy. Don't remember him either, but um, that's our second hit. Uh, we got a Mark Trumbo, Topps Chrome rookie card. Trumbo had a pretty nice career. Good, good hitter. Some decent power numbers. Uh, Danny Salazar. We got a gold card of Jake Arietta. That's going to be numbered to 2014. 1728 of 2014. So numbered card. We'll call that a hit for sure. Uh, Will Myers, Rookie of the Year card. There's a Phil Hughes. Love Phil Hughes. Phil's Pulls. Great channel. There's a his first major league win. So this is going to be uh, from Phil Hughes' rookie year. Pretty cool. 
like Phil Hughes a lot. Dave Rigetti, 84 tops. We got a active career batting leaders with a couple of Hall of Famers right there. George Brett and Rod Carew. Pretty nice looking card. That's going to be from 84 as well. And Mark Langston from 85 tops. That's Langston's rookie card. Langston put up some nice numbers over his career. Decent career. Spent a lot of time with the Angels. All right, moving on to mystery pack number three. See what we can find. So far, the autographs have been eh, but the cards have not been bad, and you can't really expect a terribly huge amount from a $5 mystery pack. So satisfied so far. Uh, on the top, Future Stars card of Singrani. Uh, we got a NL batting leaders. That's going to be Hanram and Pujols and Pablo Sandoval. Uh, we got Paul Goldschmidt pretty early on. That's going to be a second year Paul Goldschmidt from Tops. Is that just the Tops 85 throwback insert? It's a pretty nice card. I like that card a lot. Uh, John Smoltz from 92 score. Uh, we got a Tops Heritage Gateway Arch. Uh, Alexei Agondo got a couple of good years. Um, that's his rookie card. Billy Hamilton, first with four steals in first start. So that's from his rookie year. We got an Alex Wood. That's going to be out of 2014. From 2014 tops, Alex Wood. Uh, and we got a relic of Lance Berkman. Sports Center Swatches. That's going to be from Upper Deck. Um... Pretty cool game used jersey card. Don't know what game, obviously, but certified relic game used from Lance Berkman. So that's pretty cool. Berkman had a really nice career. So that's a good one. We got a classic combos from the Yankees. Uh, Josh Phelps, Jeter, Posada, and A-Rod. Uh, another Yankee rookie of Sean Henn, Dave Henderson. There's a Pete Rose manager card from 85. And a Brian Bass rookie card to finish it out. So, some interesting cards in there. Like that Berkman Relic. Probably worth a couple of bucks. Final card, or the final pack. Let's see what we have in this final $5 mystery pack. Okay, right on top, we got a Brandon Belt rookie from Topps Chrome as I drop it on the table. Um, Brandon Belt, decent player, not a superstar. Uh, cards actually got a little scratch. I don't know if you can see it, but uh, it's definitely dinged. Decent player, though. We got a, an Alan Ginter 2014 of Ozzy Smith, the Wizard of Oz. Nice card. There's a Tony Singrani rookie card. Um, don't think that's a certified autograph. That's probably just, yeah, that's not his autograph. So that's not our hit, just the Tony Singrani rookie. We got a Kirby Puckett franchise history, followed by Wade Boggs. Uh, Jose Fernandez, Rookie of the Year. Rest in peace, Jose Fernandez. Got a Brad Ziegler uh, out of 2014. That's going to be followed by our hit here. Um, getting these 2014, 2014 cards. Um, Nick Green. Nick Green, infielder. Autograph from Donruss Team Heroes. Not going to be numbered, but... Autograph nonetheless, Nick Green. I feel like he came over and played for the Yankees for a little bit, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but um, but that will be our fourth and final hit. There's a Bryce Harper, youngest with two opening day home runs. Is that from his rookie year? 2013. That might be from Bryce Harper's rookie year. That's pretty cool. Uh, 27 achievements, Mr. April, A-Rod. Tyler Clippard. Rookie card, Gary Gaetti had a 
good career. That's his rookie card. Uh, active career strikeouts leader. Look at this threesome. Triple Hall of Fame card. I like this a lot. Nolan Ryan, Tom Seaver, and Steve Carlton. Nice card right there. Um, not a huge amount of value. That's from 84 tops. But um, I do like that card a lot. And we will finish the video with Kazuo Uzuki, who I do not remember. Don't know if he ever made anything of himself in the majors. But that will finish off this pack and this video. Hope everyone enjoyed watching these rips. Uh, let me know if you think I got my money's worth. Um, just to give you some sort of ideas to what I paid for what you saw me open today. Um, probably about $60 all in is what I paid. Um, and then we'll get into those other mystery boxes and the Throwback Thursday cards later on. But um, that'll do it for this episode. Hope everyone has a great rest of their day. And uh, remember to join us next time for Searching for Hits with Eric.